What's up? We're live. Let me make sure this thing is good and the sound and the picture and last dance. Last one. How convenient. Tonight. All right, get this thing in. Looks like we're set. So let me see who's here in the chat. And Lenvi, Jaseel, Prospect, Patrick, Intramorph, El Gronk. I want to take a shower, but I don't want to miss Glenn Speak the Hustle Gospel Preach. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Shoots a kill. Zombies. Intramorph. Waited for Waffle Sakai White to go back up. Finally sold for 345. Making some money. Ready for a shot drop, Ice Pack. What do you think will be a shot drop tonight? Fire and fives. <laughs> <laughs> Fire and <laughs> fives. <laughs> um, yeah, I think Flint will be the only thing that somewhat, you know, would be releasing. But I mean, imagine if Nike did like a whole like flu game and then they did to like 14s and like imagine how much money they make a killing if they went by like the time they should have all of them. It's been insane. Uh, let's see what up, become lifestyle still kicking sports, price assassin, Sal. Your 89 Romeo, let's see, Christian, Landon, Zombreeze, waited an hour, 30 minutes in line at Burlington, Alex, and Joe, Landon Brown, Felicia, what's up? So, uh, oh, no, to flip it, saying what's up in the chat. So a couple of things we're going to talk about, especially with uh, stores opening and some of the tags and some of the lines were a little wild out there. Um, I did. Get a nice little haircut. Oh, got the fade right there. Yeah, very nice. So had to get a haircut and wear the mask. And they had to like, they just kind of like pull the little like string a little bit, go around and put it back on. It was a little weird though, but uh, we got it done. And I wanted to make sure I was the first one there. I don't want to be waiting around. I don't know what's going on out there. Well, the important thing is that you're crispy. That's what's important. Yeah, very, very, very crispy. Let me see. Glenn, Glenn lost seven pounds of hair. <laughs> it looked pretty hilarious, though. I was like, damn, I've never had it like this. All right, let's go to the, there you go, the stream. So how is the sales right now? B, I know, added some inventory uh, this weekend. Man, let me see. I haven't really. Oh, man, down. Oh, it's down. For the week compared to last week. And then we'll so we'll talk tomorrow more about that on the uh, on the show about some of the Burlington finds. Now, Jake, did you get to go out or go anywhere? Everything I went by just happened to be closed for me. So, <laughs> what about um, anybody that you know that went anywhere? Shallington, besides Shallington? Uh, no, I mean I've just been kind of going through IG. I've seen some people pick some stuff up, but you know I haven't really been talking to anybody about it. Oh, we're just staying in the lows in quarantine, not talking to anybody, not doing nah, anything. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Let's see, Koo Kicks, what's up? Then Black Satin One for 100 worth stocking up on? I think, no. yeah, they're pretty low right now. Not 100, gotta be cheaper. 80 bucks. Now that now that's one one, I would think will never go up. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I, just think that, I just think that one is trash. Uh, okay. uh, somebody, I think I was talking to Will about that actually, and think about it like the Bloodline is a much better shoe, right? And you, and you can get that for retail right now. I'd put my money into the Bloodline before. I yeah, it. you're right because satin. satin is like if it was leather, it probably would go up, but because they made it like not it's satin. It's called satin, but it's not really even close to like the satins that they made. So it's kind of like a you know, a substandard or, uh, you know, lesser quality satin material. Trash. So the, B, <laughs> the B is uh, agreeing with Jake. Yep. Instead of going against him for once. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we agree We agree on stocks and the satin ones. Right. <laughs> Let's see, Ross. What does it say about Ross on here? Where is Ross only open two days, Hustle Crow? Um, so even some of the Rosses, I know for sure they're not open here, but some other Texas stores were opening up, which we're going to show on here. Uh, Kent says posh right now is crap on the sales. Still kicking sports sales are slow. Uh, let me see. Let me go. Ross is still 
uh, is closed here still. And Dapper Fanatic, nothing open here. Goodwill tomorrow, though. What's What's interesting is I don't know what I don't know. I don't understand what the strategy is because, like, I was in South Carolina on Friday, and none of the Rosses were open where I was, and then they're open like in Myrtle Beach, which is like on the, on the coast. Same, but... Yeah, it's just weird. I don't I don't know what the, how they're making their decisions. But I think even in South Carolina, like Marshalls had already been open for a while too. Or yeah. I don't even know if they ever really even closed there. So uh, yeah, I don't I know. Think what the they did close, but I think they open. Yeah, they open like first in South Carolina. So. Mm. Oh, okay, makes sense. Let me see. Profit Monsters. Marshalls was hot for me. Burlington was a bust, but my buddy killed it. Everything here in Cali is closed. Shoot to kill Cali, man. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but people are getting restless out there. Like they want to go to the stores, especially sitting back, going on IG, seeing everybody tagging on stuff. Yep. I mean, you're gonna start. People in Cali just uh, putting up punching walls. They're just uh, putting up Throwback Thursday all the time. <laughs> yep. You know, uh, DC actually extended it out for another month too. Oh. And, and I checked uh, Maryland around here. And Maryland, because I was thinking maybe Maryland would open up, but Maryland's all closed too. No, yeah, yeah. probably Virginia, huh? Yeah, they're all yeah, they're all closed. But I figured Maryland would be the most because you know they got the casino and stuff. Right. Like that. So like, they they were all closed too. So. <laughs> Man, what about like uh, Chicago? Who else have we talked to out there? I don't really know it's still closed because they're probably one up there with the highest cases. Yeah. New York, obviously, it's wild. Speaking of casinos, I saw this photo of them uh, trying to... Social distance? Where was that at? Where was that at? <laughs> this was in Florida. So doing some, like, uh, card games. Is that at the Seminole Casino? Uh, I don't know which one it is, but I thought oh, that was... Let me see if I could uh, show you guys real quick. There you go. Oh, what they got fancy glass? Yeah. <laughs> do, do they have that tagged with where it is? Anywhere? Um... I think I just typed in like because I first I saw it on Twitter, then I looked it oh, up. Okay. But I mean that is that is wild. I mean you're still touching the cards and all the chips, so like, yeah. I don't know how uh, I gotta sanitize that whole thing or what's going but, on there. But I would think if you keep the germs to your hands, you're fine because you can just keep washing your hands. But they can't even. There's nowhere to even put your drinks. Like, well, you, you can't put your drinks. drinks. You can't like. I don't think there's your face. Like I don't think there's. I mean, I don't think you, you're allowed to serve like that. <laughs> uh, this is just gonna get. I forgot what did we what did we call the drinks at the casino? They had like a name. Hustle juice. What was it? Hustle juice. <laughs> there was some <laughs> kind of name we had for them. I forget what it was. Let's yeah. See, big one. What's up? Let me see. Doug the pug. Oh, Kent says Trampa. Laugh out loud. <laughs> that's all right. That's sad. Uh, let me bring this back on here. At the stream. Oh. So if it was in Tampa, then it would have been in the Seminole, the one that we went to. Very true. Very true. All right, let me get this. Let's go to the next one. Speaking of lines, so this one, I believe, I don't know if it was, someone said, I can't even see what the sign, oh, if it was yeah. Georgia or Houston or something, but it was one of the two. I think it might have been Houston. This one here on the right is mine. So when I went to Burlington, <laughs> I took this photo. So it was uh, almost there to curling around the building. Well, let me ask you this question. When you look at a line like that, um, say you know who the resellers are in your area, right? Yeah. I mean, if you see them way ahead of you in this line, is it worth even standing in a line? I think so. I mean, because once you, once you get in there, you get to be part of the whatever they have, 100 people limit. You can stay in there the whole day. I'm just saying, like, I would think that they would. Yeah, but I don't think, anybody, have, I don't think anybody was following at all. What do you mean <laughs> Yeah, like the limit, like uh, I don't think anybody was really the mar the marshals I went to in Atlanta, they had a counter and once you got to a hundred they they uh cut it out. You had to wait for someone to leave. Dude, our capacity for this Burlington was like three hundred. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Which is wild because that's probably why the lines, you know, were so long. Someone said forty five minute wait outside and then two and a half hours wait inside to pay. Yep, you've profit you monsters. You have to be, to have a strategy. Yeah, let me zoom in on here. This one, 
I mean, this is right. Imagine just like opening these doors and then just like a little stampede. Yeah, in there. well, there's no way they're six feet. I mean, look how look how close these are. Yeah, because like some people are just really cutting in line right there. <laughs> Jake, would you be up in here? No, I just I don't get it. Like I understand there's probably gonna be some fines for the first couple people that get in there, but after that. I mean, think about going or if, if you went on a normal Wednesday or something and you saw a line like that, would you even bother? <laughs> if you saw this many people in a Ross when you walked in while you were actually like um, looking for inventory, you just turn around and leave them. You'd be like, that place is, is packed. <laughs> Imagine even trying to do research, checking comps. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't do anything. I, I don't know. And then, and then when you, like you said, when you check out, you wait another two hours. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, you have to be like the first 10 people in line. Yeah, for sure. This is from uh, our very own Texas Pete. I don't know where he's at. So the first day, the line started curling a little bit, but even then we've seen worse. And then the second day, he was second in line, which second day after they put up that 50% off sign, I'm pretty That's sure it wasn't much left. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Mile High Hustle did not go to any store with a line not worth it. Um, smooth sailing says time to grow up and move on. Stop letting Corona defeat you. Oh, uh, DFW was the point. <laughs> OG kicks Burlington has been busy. TJ Maxx and Dallas lines are not that bad from Nick. Uh, let me go back up and see. Have fun waiting three hours for old finds from Enrique. Go back up. Yeah, Burlington was crazy. Pawn shops have been killing it. Ross Highsmith. And this one, oh, Jay Minaj, who also sent us some photos. This one, she said she's number 22 at 8.30 a.m. Wow, so at least 30-minute wait. Yeah, um, I, I, me and my wife went, and um, we had a strategy, but, like, the, we only were able to hit four stores because, it, like, by the, by the time it was, like, close to noon, it wasn't worth it. The line was wrapped around. Um, on the second day, we did. She did have to wait an hour forty-five or two hours. Brutal. Uh, so the strategy was like she was already. Ha I mean, we went around one time, and then she went and fall in line while I was still shopping around. So <laughs> uh, uh, I did have to leave a few car, uh, a few fines though, uh, when I went to different stores. Um, I tried to pull a Glenn, tried to hide the cleats and everything like that. So hopefully they're still there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, we'll find out. Yeah, because like I found like four items and then their line was at least an hour. So I'm like, you know, I had to weigh it out. Uh, and I said, no, not worth it. So I just stuck them, hid them under the racks, uh, behind the uh, stuffed away and behind the pillows. So <laughs> 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 because whatever whatever you thought your profit was on those wasn't worth it. Right, right. I mean, it would have been, you know, it was good profit, but I've already, you know, made my day. And, you know, me and my wife kind of set our expectation. After the first two or three stores we've hit, it's pretty much a wash. These I found on uh, IG. And this line to get in, all right, understandable. This line to pay, which a lot of people were in this route, like, Look how far that sign is from the front. <laughs> Look how long, how long is it going to take. Right. And then paying is slower as well. So yeah. it's, not, it's not like they're just going to you're gonna whisk through. I mean, the paying takes longer and that line is long as hell. That's crazy. Yeah, they got to sanitize everything. The crazy thing is we had all registers were open. So it took a pandemic to get Burlington to get all registers open. Yeah, then, that, that was actually very surprising. Yeah. And then someone made, of course, made this post. And then I saw a similar one on Twitter, too. These uh, posts that TJ Maxx and Ross are terrible. It makes me sad that even for the sake of health, people couldn't stay home. Okay. For goodness sake, stay home. Let me, I mean, let's think about this for a second. Um, if most of these people are not resellers, right? Right. No. So, so they're not going there to make money. They're legitimately yep. going there to buy things. To spend money. To Ooh, spend money. money. You could do that shit online. Like I don't understand. Like what? What's in Burlington that you can't buy online? Like one hundred percent. I mean, I totally agree. I think you can actually, for consumer perspective, you can find better deals online. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you can go online and get some Air Max ninety for you know seventy, eighty bucks. 
mm-hmm. which is you'll never find them here, you know, uh, in a lot more selection. But I, right. I really, truly think that just from based on my observation, all I saw on the other people's cards were kids' clothes, uh, some frames, some hangers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think who the, who the hell waits in those lines for some hangers no, and some baby no, clothes? I, 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 really, I really think. I mean, there was people way behind us falling in line. At least it would take them easy two hours. They had one red cart, and like <laughs> you know, like it 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 is mind boggling. I, I hopefully. You know, the corona is not that active that it would have easily spread there because now, you know, you got corona because of some hangers, some picture frames, some mirrors, some. Right. And I think it's one thing that when you're going to make a living, right? Right. Because that's your job. Right. Just going to shop in that line. To me, that's just idiotic. Yeah. That is true. So, of course, we got hashtag flatten the curve and then hashtag (laughs) idiots. And the other thing, funny thing was, so Burlington was trending on Twitter on Saturday lines. Of course, people talking about how crazy it is. And of course, most people, it's kind of funny though. It's like Burlington, how dare they 50% off during a pandemic when they know everyone's going to want to go to these stores. How dare they do something like that? Which that was pretty like funny comment. And there's other people that are like, oh man, 50% off. Like, they're like resisting to go, and then <laughs> you know some just just went ahead and win. Yeah, they talk trash online, and they're probably worse in line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Price Assassins. Anybody gone to Ross yet? Was a merchandise on clearance? As far as I know, what I could see that people tagged me on in the DMs, they did have clearance. A lot of it was like baseball cleats. Um, but they're down to like, I think somewhere like $2, $3 or something. But they still had Kobe's, Jordan's, Air Max. They were all still 50 60 bucks. So they, they know what they have. Right. And they're like, we're not going to mark down these Kobe's though. But some of the big size 18 baseball cleats, $2. Which are $2 on a regular basis anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows. <else. laughs> Let's see. 50% off RBX has some profit to be made from Ben. I I won't be shocked. Hey, let me say something. I, I bought like two years ago, I bought a pair of baseball cleats, the Jordan 4, right? Mm-hmm. All red. Have you guys seen those before, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those all red. I think I bought them for like $19.99 and they're like size 15, I think. But, <laughs> yeah, it was stupid. I know. Okay. I, I have those bitches on there for $29.99. Nobody will buy them. I'm just trying to get rid of them. I just, they just take up so much space because they're like this big. I'm just like, get the hell out of here. No one wants them. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you got to think about that when you buy your two dollar cleats that no one wants. Maybe somebody buy, might buy in three years. They're just taking up space. I mean, who cares if they're two dollars? I mean, they're taking <laughs> up space, bro. It's not worth it. Now Raiders Nation second twelve hundred dollar check. How do we feel about Whoa. that? Yo, I think hopefully it's gonna pass. I think it got onto the next level. Um, it, it kind of passed. Uh, I think the representative or something like that, House of Representatives. I think it's going to the next level. So, man, I I, I guess they're watching our show. You know, <laughs> I mean, I've I've been saying that one more. I heard the college kids were going to get this one too, though, as well. So expect shoe prices to go up even more. Oh, even better. <laughs> Enrique yeah, says, "Must be nice making six hundred a week and not working." Yeah, that's plus six hundred. Their unemployment. Hey, I mean, I could only wish. I wish I got a job right before it happened. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Zombie says it's not passing. Um, still waiting on that first check from Dapper Fanatic. I I think I, how pissed are those Burlington employees that were making that 600 plus 200, probably 800, and now they got to sit there and work their asses off all day nonstop? Well, I think they were on furlough. <laughs> I don't even think they were getting money, were they? If you're on, if you're not getting paid from your job, then you get unemployment. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, then, then it's one thing not it's one thing working, but it's a, another thing to work the hardest you ever have in your life, right after getting paid more than you ever did. <laughs> it's like it's like a it's like a double whammy. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> that's very true. Uh, it was it was wild, but we're gonna see. I do have a video coming out tomorrow. You guys can see what that looks like, but 
and see what I picked up. I know Ecom Lifestyle definitely killed it out there. The B got some great stuff. So we'll look at that. Now, sneaker news. OG Bruce Lee, Kobe Fives next year. Possibly. How do we feel about these? That's a dope shoe. Definitely pick up for the collection. Automatic. So you need a W on those Kobe sneaker yeah. fights 12. That's probably the only Hustle B colorway shoe I'd rock. <laughs> Let's see. Maximo. Loving the Kobe's. Uh, next one. We got the uh, Legend Blue Low or Columbia's, but a low. Trash. May 2021. Trash. Trash. Get the crap out of here. Jake. I like it. I like it. I, I actually like it better than the high. <laughs> better than the high. No. I like, I like lows. I, I like lows. I just like how lows are. With it don't matter. They're both trash. I like <laughs> it. They're, like, they're going to be like yellow green after five wears. Oh, yeah, for sure. But if somebody gave me these, I'd rock them immediately. <laughs> I'm not paying for them. I'd rather, I rather have cool gray lows over these. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. not paying for them. RBX. It looks like a lot of people are agreeing with Jake in here. I like it, too, from Nick. Doug says, feeling it. Felicia yeah, the people, Smith. That like this are the people that rock white Air Force ones. <laughs> B, look at this guy. Looking for some heat. Uh, caught for resale. And El Gronk says, some people love them lows. Ecom Lifestyle, great summer shoe. I doubt the resale. What's, what's, what are the highs going for? I don't know. That's a good question. I haven't checked that one in a while. Yeah, I don't think that's a very They're high. probably expensive now. I mean, yeah. the, even the Platinum 11s went up. <laughs> yeah. Next bit of news, uh, canceled <laughs> on the 7-Eleven Dunk Low. Now, I know, B, where you're a little sad seeing the news. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> Jake, were you ever feeling these or no? No. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> no. The, the, the Columbia is uh, on StockX are all around like 380 to 400. Oh, okay. 384 right. makes sense. Let's see. Shoot to kill. So sad they're canceled. Um, so there we go. Next one. We got the news that the Chunky Dunky May 23rd. Man. I, I purposely didn't try to get the LeBrons this weekend because I'm holding my W for this one. <laughs> I'm holding my W. <laughs> Man, I think they're going to be retail, what, 100 bucks, probably? <laughs> I don't care if they retail 400. <laughs> now, these are straight L's coming your way, but what's the, what's the resale on these right now? Ah, uh, this is like easy a grand, something really. Like that. <laughs> yeah. People just buy the hype, man. It's shit ugly as hell. Right? <laughs> Uh, Chunky Dunky, a beast. A lot better than 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah, 7-Eleven, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Big one says trash. Patrick really want a pair. And 26 on the sneakers app. Yeah, so, that, there we go. That, would, that one would look good back here. 23rd uh, yeah. Skate Shops, 25th Sneakers. Bro Brother Jay said, you can't rock these shoes if you're over 30. <laughs> 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 that is true. Oh, man. All right. So, do these guys have their game uh, answers ready? And here's the thing, though. So, we're going to do – we're going to see who comes out a winner on this one. Now, with uh, stores opening up, things happening, people are going to have to start listing. We might have to move the show or maybe even – like, how long is the show going to last? I mean, we started during pandemic, but things are starting to open up. What's going to happen? Right. We might have to uh, put a limited release on this show. <laughs> more rare hey, and also with last this, dance this, ending this will be like a patreon show you gotta pay us for yeah, <laughs> yeah. now that people got it you know now we gave them a taste of how good the show could be <laughs> how good the show we gave them subscriptions after and then, hey and then people with patreon access can resell the link oh we can start reselling the show yeah, yeah that's that yeah everybody that, wins that's how, they everybody do wins. that's how they do it like they give you some good info and all of a sudden they make it more limited limited and yeah. then tell you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go today's game is a uh, name that ugly jordan Ooh. so we're going with the ugliest colorways we could find man i already know jake's winning <laughs> <laughs> but i'll try he can he'll try this, this so, will be interesting for sure so b is favored on this one 55 possible points uh b has won five jake has won three slightly ahead he does get the title um so 26 to 23 is the over and under 
So you can place your bets. Ugliest Jordans, and they're all retro. So we're not going like Team Jordans and some flights and no, no, no. All right, here we go. There we so go. Here Jake, we go. Jake feels, you know, oh, my bag of cookies on B this round. B, any cookies? Man, out of stock. <laughs> out of I haven't Man, sold out out of stock. Man, I haven't gone like that's why like I kind of keep it that way for a few days. That 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 way, I, if I go to the store and then I eat one, it's so much better. <laughs> hey, Intramor- Intramorph said I just have to look in my closet. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going with Jake on this oh, one, this Felicia. <laughs> It Same. really depends. If they're like all like just newer ones, it's possible because Ken's in the streets more. It's possible he might have a head. All right, we're gonna find out. So here's an easy one. One point. One point for a Jordan one. Uh name the shoe. So uh Crazy Laney, Court Jester, Eddie Murphy, Leroy Smith, Dave Chappelle. Man. <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> Do you remember this shoe? This is an interesting one. Of course it's mid. <laughs> All right, your answer. Three, two, one. D for Hustle B. Leroy. <laughs> and B for Jake Court Jester. Let me see. I'm copying if they are E. You know the answer? Uh no, I I just I remember I've heard the court jester name before, but I don't know why it would be Leroy. I think Leroy Smith was a different shoe. I'm not sure. C B, please tell me it's E. My eyes, <laughs> and for one whole point too. Hold on, let me get my my scorecard right here. So B and Jake. All right. So let's see what the chat. The chat's a little mix on here, but the correct answer, Leroy Smith. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see. Where did that come from? <laughs> it's you try to play like dumb. Hey, this is another shoe that Ken's like, well, when I was at a basketball game, they had yeah, no, bro. on the Jumbotron, Leroy Smith was talking about his shoe. <laughs> Bullshit. Leroy. It's just a Leroy shoe. You know what I'm saying? Leroy with, like, with a I, purple suit. You know, that's Leroy Smith. Leroy. I, I was thinking that Leroy was on the nines. I don't even know who he is. Leroy. Well, then you got to give us the backstory now. So Leroy Smith, apparently, doing the research on this, was a (laughs) – they made a commercial for this shoe with Charlie Murphy. And Charlie Murphy was playing the character called Leroy Smith that was apparently the last person to beat out Jordan – on the Laney High School team, a oh, fictional I yeah. character. <laughs> I knew that. That's what I thought. It was a fictional character. That's what but, I thought. But they were actually advertising. They weren't advertising this shoe in a commercial, were they? Um, I, these? I don't know if it was this shoe or maybe just a Jordan 1 period. I don't know. It might have been just this shoe. It has Leroy Smith on the tongue. <laughs> Can yeah. you see it right there? It's that like, is hilarious. 2009. It's like uh, what do they? Uh, who's that other per player that have like uh, another identity? Was it? Uh, it's uh, Chris Paul, right? Uh, it has like a different, like a different name or something. Oh yeah, is it Chris Paul, or is it Steph Curry? Mm, I, I don't know, but I know what you're getting at. But I don't know. Yeah, Leroy Smith is a Tekken character. <laughs> Fast to Eddie. All right, here's the next one. Oh, Cliff Paul. It is no, Cliff Paul. There you go, Omar. That's trash. Two points for the Jordan 2, if you can get this one right. <laughs> I'll slow his face. DB, Bin 23, Eminem, Kwai 54, or Finale? Man, all I know has got a good quality in them. <laughs> so we're going uh, with the ugliest Jordans on here. Um, the chat is a little mixed. And uh, answer your answer in three, two, and one. C from Jake Eminem uh, and D from Hustleby. I think I made a mistake. Like 54. Let me see what the chat says. C, Eminem, C, E. Yeah, C. I made a mistake. Those are my grails. C and C. No, oh, Texas Pete. There we go. 
And uh, correct answer, yes, Eminem. So $3, two points. Dollars. I knew that. I, I just remember somebody on IG talking about this year. So. Man, I was so confused with uh, Ben. Oh, it's Ben. And I was like, in the last minute, I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> and I had to think. Damn, somebody paid. Somebody actually paid thirty. Yeah, an eleven and a half. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that highest bid, 3200 So right now, let's see, B, one point and two points for uh, Slim Shady himself, Jake. Let's call it right here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Three points for a Jordan 3. We get particle beige, quartz beige, digital yeah. pink, pink rose, or hyper beige. <laughs> Ken knows this one. This is Would you beige. rock this one? This is a woman's shoe, right? Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> this looks more recent. I'm, I'm sure Ken knows this one. Okay. Your correct answer. Hold on. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's still thinking. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me pick my losing letter out. Man. Ken, I like the chat name? at D, A, B, and E. <laughs> the chat's all over the place. I'm going to look into your eyes, Ken. I'm just going to think what you're thinking. Right hold now. on. Hold on. I'm thinking hard. Oh, man. I'm extra time for eyes. this one. I'm trying to read what you're – all right. Your answer in three, two, one. Damn it. B for the B. D for Jake. Damn it. And who's that? Damn it, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> so B and D are correct are uh, our answers from Man, our contestant. Any particle beige. If it is, I don't know if they would reuse Quartz. the name. It's horrible. <laughs> e, E, no, B, C. Uh, <laughs> so a I, little mix out here. On a girl's, on a women's shoe, I just don't feel. Like I think the the or B. That's my answer, but I okay. think hyper beige maybe. And the correct answer is particle beige. Oh wow, wow! <laughs> How could they name it like the foams? <laughs> it's, it's probably the color. It's probably the, just yeah, the but like, like isn't that odd that like uh they would have. They made the shoe the same name? I think it's the, <laughs> color, the colorway name, right? Yeah, I think they're just going with the colorway name. But don't they, don't they have a foam that they call Concord? They got a foam they call Concord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know this the color was particle beige. I don't know if that was their color. I mean that name. I didn't know. If we find a particle beige out there, 243 highest bid. Man. I don't know. We'll have to go <laughs> further than that. <laughs> but particle beige, correct answer. Man. <laughs> Next one. That looks like an outlet shoe too, man. Jordan four <laughs> for four points. Ying Ying Havoc Black Stingray Black Cat Patent or Eleven Lab Four. What the hell is going on with this shoe? Does anybody know in the chat? Give me your answer. Let's see what they say. Uh, B and Jake, how confident you feel about this one? I feel pretty good. All right, your answer. In three, two, and one. Both of them say E. 11 lab four. Uh, <laughs> D, E, who's coming up with this crap? Intramorph, D, a lot of D and E only. Dude, it looks bad on photo. It's actually not bad on foot. Oh, not that bad on foot. Then you must know the answer. 11 lab four. Yeah. Very nice. So four points each on that one. Ken, and now, now I was focusing on you, so now I know your poker face. You look oh, pretty calm. You, you, you had this quiet confidence about yourself on that one. <laughs> so what do the prices look like? Two ninety. I, I might have, I might be setting you up for something. Oh. <laughs> so you're a step ahead of me on that. <laughs> Let's see. Tommy says he's back. E money wants in on the next game. SCF. All right. Next one. What's the score? B is down one. Jake okay. is up six to five. What I'm talking about. <laughs> Next one. Jordan five for five points. And we get blue moon, bronze, French blue, psychic navy, and brave blue. Man. Do you remember this shoe? Ken bought like 20 pairs of this shoe. <laughs> he knows exactly what the name of this shoe is. A little mix. We got D. We got B. We got another B. We got C and D. Your answer. Three, two, 
One. And both say B at the same time. Bronze. I just process of elimination. <laughs> Come on, Ken. You knew this one. No, I don't. Are you serious? It can be French blue. Like, okay. And it is bronze. Five hey, points. Wait, that says 11 and a half, 339. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> so right now the score is Jake 11 and B with 10. All right, let me see. Um, how's that bronze from Tommy? The tongue. Just the tongue only. It <laughs> doesn't even matter on the other parts of the shoe. Jordan, six for six points. <laughs> we got Rugrats, Game Royal, Deep Royal, Royalty, and Hot Hybrid. Wild Jordan, six for six points. Damn. Think about it for a little bit. You guys got your answer? Yeah. No? <laughs> See a little mix on the chat. Your answer in three, two, one. D for the B and B for Jake. My other answer was Rugrats, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. These shock dropping tonight, boys. We ready. Astro Drip merch. B, A, B, C, French Blue, B, A. Man, everyone's all over the place on this one. A, Wild Guess. A little mix. Texas Pete Clean. Correct answer. Game Royal for six points. So, who was so right? <laughs> me? So, oh. Jake got that one right. So, this, this is one, like, well, this is like a thrift find or whatever. I sold this before. I, I just didn't remember for sure what the name was, but I knew it wasn't Rugrats. I knew it wasn't whatever that hot hybrid. So, I eliminated three. So, I just went with the How one. How would it be Game Royal? I just, I don't yeah, is it um isn't there a Jordan one game royal? Yeah, that, like, but that's all blue like that? Yeah, yeah. That's not blue, that's like purple, right? <laughs> no, it's, it's like it's blue. like a blue. Yeah, it's like a blue. Oh, okay. I get you. I got you. The purple bluish, like all yeah, blue. Yeah, that's like a weird blue. Okay. Yeah. Man. Fresh what? Fresh Prince Vibe, boom, game royal. Oh, no, I'm down. All right, right now the score is Jake 17, B10. But we can tie it up with a Jordan 7 for 7 points. Wow. Name the shoe. Hazelnut, Cobnut, or Cobnut, I don't even know. Filbert, Corliss, or Harvest. That's like some weird names. What's going on here? Ed Ed is so confident right now. He ain't saying a damn thing. I don't see any, like, expressions on his face. He knows exactly what this is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a real good guess on this one. <laughs> Astro Drip D's nuts. Because I legit don't know what <laughs> this is like. I don't even couldn't even say some of these names. Like, what's going on here? Uh, do you I, remember the shoe coming out? It's not Cobnut. That's for damn sure. No, <laughs> no, no one at Jordan would name that shoe. Cobnut. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> Your yeah. answer in damn. three, two, yeah. one. E. For Harvest and C for Filbert. I think I've, I've, I've heard the Filbert name. Back. C Earth Friendly. C Hazelnut. What? Pure yeah, Guest. A for Menace. So we're all over the place in this one. E, D. Filbert. What the hell's a Filbert? <laughs> Correct answer. That's what Maximo Fine says. What the hell's a Filbert? <laughs> yeah, what's a Filbert? Correct answer, Filbert. God damn it. <laughs> For Jordan 7, too. God damn it. <laughs> we have a tie game, ladies and gentlemen. See, Ken, I knew you knew that shit. I saw your face. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he knew it. When you ask a question and Ken just sits there silently and shit, it means he knows it. He's not even thinking. Looks like what size nine, six, fifteen, size eleven, seven, sixty five, size ten for a grand. I need a story. What's the story with this? Ken, go ahead. I don't know. I just know another sneakerhead buddy looking for it. <laughs> Why would someone be looking for this? He's collecting the J2K packs. Silbert is a cartoon. I love the J2K character. pack. He's collecting the packs. Yeah. That was uh, the says it's a cartoon character. <laughs> Let me see what it says. Um, 
The filbert and the obsidian, but doesn't say anything about like the story behind it on here. Next. I'm construction featuring features of triangular patches. Trash. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. All right. Massive lead um, for eight points. Hey, oh what's uh, Jordan eight. It's tied 17-17. Jordan eight for eight points. Oh my word. <laughs> Snap peas, snow peas, sneak uh, pea pods, and garden peas and sugar peas. I don't know what's going on here. Your answer in the potato sack. Your three, two, one. Pull Get out of here, Ken. <laughs> you must have had these. <laughs> you had these in the Philippines, man. Get your. <laughs> Philippines. It's trash. Dude. Right. Ken all, should not know this one. All I know is pods. <laughs> Ken should not know this one. Tide this is so pods. random. Tide pods. This is random <laughs> trash. Journey P pods. So correct answer. And See, yeah. this is this is a shoe only a thrifter should know. There's no way Ken should know the shoe. Bro, <laughs> I kind of know the ugly so that I won't know I don't buy them. I got it. But I'm but saying this is like an old shoe. Like you would have never ran into this. Never. Yeah, it's, what I'm just, it's just the old, like I I guess it was a pro going to uh sneaker cons. Oh, okay. Because so you know the old the good old Jordan days, you know, they've collected all the weird stuff. Gotcha. They've had to have it. I don't know which year or whatever. I mean, like in my lifetime, I've never seen it until it was on a glass case. Flint 13 shock dropping, pretty sure. Uh, this one, would you pay 335 for your size, size nine? No, but <laughs> but but doesn't it look like the quality is good though? Like the stitching, alternate color stitching. I think that's all I can remember with that one. You you know what a nice one is actually is I, I think is that uh, Jordan Eight. I think they called it the the black toe or the blue toe or something like that. You ever seen that? I haven't seen that one. Now we're look, look at that. Yeah, look at that one. It's called Jordan 8. Well, I think they call it Black Toe, even though it's blue. I'm not sure. Let's see. <laughs> now I've got to find some of these, some of these, because Jake says he likes them, he would rock them, which means uh, it came I'm out. I think they all know. these eights came out around a similar time. I think it was like 2010 or nine or something like that. Hold on. You know what? Let's go back on here. Uh share screen. We're gonna we're gonna play along a little bit with Jake. Let's take a little break on the game. Um, so you're saying that there's something out here that you like. Dude, and, clean. Oh, keep going down. Keep going down. And sevens. Dude, I thought that uh, Take Flight Retro Eight was clean, but I guess everybody crap on it. Keep, keep going down. Keep Confetti. Going. No, keep going. Snow Blizzard. I'm gonna show you the one I'm talking about. Snow okay. Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Take flight? It's probably a low. It's probably damn, where is it? Is it black? Look up the Jordan 8 black toe. Do that. Are you sure? Black toe. Or it's either blue, it's a blue toe, but I think they called it. Oh, that one right this there. One? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's no. Yes. That's not a bad shoe, bro. <laughs> that's well, not a bad shoe. Look at the quality though. Look at that. Yeah, but that's, not, that's a nice that's, shoe. Like the there's a seven that came out like this, right? Uh, no, in that color, I don't know. Black toe Jordan Seven. There's a Flint. The Flint Jordan Seven is pretty, pretty nice. Let's see. No. Okay. No. Well, good thing I didn't choose that that shoe. You would have picked it. I don't even know. I right. was even out there. Would have won. Yeah, he would have won. That would have been an easy win. Uh -huh. <laughs> so right, let's go back to the game. So the, the score right now. The tide, right? It's 25-25. So oh, man, that was a tie then, huh? Yeah, that was tie. All right, but we got Jordan 9 for 9 points. Oh, crap. <laughs> Jordan 9, 9 points, ugly sweater, olive gray, alternate 90s, Bugs Bunny, green abyss. Pretty weird, pretty random. Now, your answer. This is trash. In three. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, they're well, not ready yet. This is a trash. Do you know? This is a, no, I don't know this goddamn answer. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. B Olive Gray from Jake. It's not yeah. Olive Gray, Jake. It's alternate 90s? 90s from Hustle B. I really hope that shit ain't old. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For a massive lead. Correct answer. Green Abyss. Uh, uh, bro, how is it Green Abyss? Where's the green at? <laughs> Hey, I don't. We don't argue with the correct answers. We just know Green Abyss is the correct answer on here, and people are willing to pay 200, 213, 305 in a nine and a half. It's, it's got a gray on it. That's why I was thinking olive gray, because I know the olives. The olives are the black and olive. <laughs> and so I thought this was like some kind of version of that by calling it olive gray. There we go. Casey finally got one. Maximal laughing. Looks like winterized yeah. boot. Yeah, they're winterized. So this is our last one, oh, and a man. Jordan 10 oh, boy. Um, for 10 points. So I don't want this game to end in a tie. So hopefully one of you guys doesn't know this one. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Jake is leading by nine? No, we're, no he's, we're still tied. 25-25. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this, so this, this is for the dub, Ken. Okay? Yeah, this is for the win. Here we go. Jordan 10, Madrid, Rome, London, Paris, or France? Oh, my word. <laughs> There's no way Ken doesn't know this one. Don't look at the chat. This looks something. This looks like something recent. Your answer. Three, two. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Your answer. Three, two, one. <laughs> this, is, go D, I went e. this is a pure guess. Okay, well, I went E. I went France. Okay, so Hustlebee says D, and Jake says. How do the people in the chat know this? I don't know if they know it. Let me see what they got E, D, C, and more D's. Another C from Juan. Uh, the correct answer. Hold on. More people showing why, up. Why 75? I uh, don't know. We got to know. Correct answer. D. <laughs> <laughs> Paris. Now, did you really know this one or no? No. I was thinking like, I was trying to see like Barcelona, right? Because that's the other shoe. And I was like, Barcelona is Spain, right? Why is 75 a giveaway? What does 75 mean? No, no, I don't know. So oh, somebody, I'm, also Crow says 75 is a giveaway. I was like, that's what it is. The PSG. That's huh. that's that click. Why Paris? It's Paris Saint Germain. And I was like, that's why that's the only city that I, I could out I mean kind of like match it to Jordan's. Oh, what happened here? Whoa. Oops, sorry. There you go. <laughs> the year started of PSG, 1975. Wow. So there we go. Oh, Not bad. Trash. Trash. All right, you know what? This is for Jake. If you can get this one right, bonus points. You have to know there's a certain there's a certain athlete that wore this shoe. Which shoe? I'm going to show it to you right now. Let me remove this one. A nice little bonus. Uh, this was one of the questions I was going to ask. It's so random, but I just wanted to see if anybody could get this one. And if, you know, the athlete that wore this shoe. <laughs> oh, man. I purchased it. That looks like a wrestling shoe. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's a boxing shoe. Oh, right? man. It's a I, I'm, I don't know. And Jordan had... Uh, and Jordan, uh, Jordan had a boxing player. I searched this during Michael Finley's time. I was searching whoever was a Jordan athlete. And that's why I fell in love more with Randy Moss because I, he was a Jordan athlete. Um, man. <laughs> Jake, do you know? I was thinking uh, Roy Jones. Mm, Roy yeah. Jones Jr. from. So. Yeah, when, I think so. 
See, oh, Stevie D, what's up? Yeah, that's what it is. What, okay. Once you said, bo- but you had to give me the boxing shoe hint. Then. Yeah. That, like, I think he's the only one that he signed uh, yeah. as a. As See, a- Roy Jones, I saw those. Roy Jones. Oh, Will in the house says, also yeah. says uh, Roy Jones. Ronzo's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> uh, the correct answer. Let me move this from stream. Sorry, I have to go back since it's a random question. Was Jay- actually Warren Sapp. Wow. Which this one is like a similar looking, but you can't even tell that it's even like a cleat or anything. But that- some people have Warren Sapp on here. That was a cleat? Yeah. <laughs> Soul Empire says Warren Sapp, and someone else said Warren Sapp on here. Man. Yeah. Zach, how do you know this? Soul Empire, Warren Sapp, there it is. Probably uh, a, Ra- a Raiders fan. Yo, yeah, that was a Raiders a colorway. Raiders. Now I like him more. <laughs> Raiders colorway. Oh, man. So how random, you- but good thing I didn't ask that one. Go back. Why? What? what? Is it like, a, it looks like me and Jake looked like, it, I mean, knew it. It was a boxing or wrestling shoe. <laughs> yeah. What, where's the cleat bottoms on that? I couldn't really see it on the photo. Hey, Shaw Empire probably has it. That's why it's soft flex. Soft flex. Probably use it. look like a cleat. Yeah, he probably used it during snow season. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me go back. Get this out of the way. Share screen. And today we are, let's get this on here. Jake still couldn't get over Glenn. I know. We are ranking Jordan 14s. Oh. For uh the last the last dance. And you can see the 14s on here. So and the last shot. Ranking 14s. And there's more. You know what? Surprisingly, there's like way more to choose from. I thought it was gonna like, yeah, hey, what up, man? Like six or eight of them. No, there's like 10 of them, 12 of them out here. First one, reverse Ferrari. Trash. Is it a release recently? Yeah. Jake, you like? Um, I don't think it's bad looking. Okay. We got regular Ferrari. That one. Man, that one was it was I I I could say it was like the high height of my hype selling career. Of your shoe and car game? Because no, not car. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, that's car. But um uh, this was, I think, uh, released first in uh, in Chicago or something like that for some odd reason. All right, next. I one. like this one. I, I I want that one. Hey, uh, the Ferrari I, was that? That wasn't an OG colorway, was it? No, it was no. Retro, right? Yeah, Candy Cane, classic. A little classic, Jake. Oh, that's right. I'm I've never been a big fan of the 14. Oh, so he's not even in this at all. He just does not like 14s. Well, I, I'm just saying is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like I always do on what I would wear. So okay. There all might right. be some random stuff at number one. What about Thunder? Mm. A little Hustle B colorway? Yeah, no, trash. It's both. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that color, I mean, it's kind of a clean color together. It's not terrible. Next one. Supreme. Oh, I forgot they even had that. Yeah, I I couldn't stand these when they came out. Supreme I was like, oh, man. Let me see what else did they say. I love the Thunder smooth selling. Oh, uh, one the white and green ones. Those are clean. Steelers trash, horrible. Could you guys seriously rock 14s right now? I think I can. It's clean, especially like the retro Last Dance shoe. The I love the DBs. Trash. <laughs> That's ugly. Jake's not filling them. Either is the B. Something a little different in there, no? Reminds me of what? Didn't they come out with like a... It looks like foam faucet color. <laughs> Supreme hey, like someone took a glue gun and bought fake diamonds at Michael's. <laughs> exactly. Bedazzled, bedazzled 14s. <laughs> it, it, it's bedazzled, but I mean, it's a higher end shoe. So, I don't know. It gives it a, dis, a, a distinctive look, I think. Like, if you just threw that on a regular 14, I think it would be stupid. But the fact that it's kind of limited, I, I guess it kind of adds to it. For sure. <laughs> ugly. There's an excuse for ugly if it's limited. Mm-hmm. Laney Low. Man. Jake? This is probably right. Jake Rock. Not bad. 
Yeah, I could see Jake rocking these. And, yeah. I mean, look, like this is another shoe right here, right? Where when I look at it, I think it looks better in the low. Than the no, it likes the low. Because it's like, it's a one straight, like. It's a clean line. Now clean it looks line versus the, yeah. The ones well, like I your know. analogy, now this makes, uh, because it's like a, it looks like a car now. Like mm -hmm. the straight line on the, you know, the modern cars. What does the chat think? Smash or pass on Laney Low? I can't, I can't hate. Okay, can't hate. Next one. Last shot. Which Dude, we do. I actually, I actually want the, uh, the, they retro this, right? When? Last year? Yeah. You can only imagine what the prices look like now. Ooh. Good. <laughs> a retro actually was good. And I would keep telling myself, like, I'm a cop them when they're like, uh, under retail. And apparently, it seems like they never went under retail. I don't think they did. Yeah. Let's see, next one. Defining moments. Oh, I remember the, this game with the 13s, right? I believe so, Jake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's actually not bad. I, okay. I, sold, I sold this. The quality on this is amazing. I bought the pack. <laughs> Black that, that one's nice. Oh, that, Jake's a fan. That one's clean. That one's clean. It's all right for me. Can't can't hate. Can't hate. And uh, sport blue. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> I think any of the ones that have the really pronounced uh, holes in it doesn't look good. Uh, the oh, clean the clean sides look better, like in the uh, black toe. Let's see, fire smash it, dope. People are liking the sport blue. And last one, university blue. No. <laughs> I did not include uh, the white and green one, which I wasn't sure on that one or not. <laughs> or including that one. Did you like that one or no? Uh, it was decent. I mean, I actually remember I played in those. Um, I had white a and green one? Yeah. Oh. Were, yeah, I actually comfortable. But I never wore it in a game. It was just like, you know, just park games. It was See? a beater. Oh, there was a uh, forest green. Yeah, I think that's what it's called, right? So forest green. You know what? We can add that one in there. Let me put it. I had to take, I had to take a screenshot, but we can throw it in there. Uh, forest green. So we'll put that one. Didn't they have like an ugly ass color in that too? Like the cinder? Was it the cinder? Mm, maybe like it looks like a brown and. Let me see. Yeah, like, <laughs> like the like the thirteens, like the Timberland thirteens. I think so. Well, let me see. Get this one on here. For a screen, and now we can do the other screen share. Stop screen. Hey. Move on to the next one. Yeah, Glenn, do Jordan fourteen cinder. Okay, hold on. It's ugly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Go in here, and so here's a for a screen. And you wanted to see what cinder? Cinder, yeah, Jordan fourteen cinder. It's not even on stock. Yet. Oh, that one? Yeah, it's ugly. It's like a brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, that, I, I thought it was going to be all more brown. It's just the accents. Oh, good. Let's see, get this one out of the way. Someone was at my door. So I was like, what the heck? All right, get that. Whoops. Stop screen. We're all over the place on this one. And all right, rank them. So for a screen, we'll throw it in there. Now, is there anything that we need to just get out that we're, none of us are going to pick? Reverse Ferrari. Doran Becker. No, yeah, reverse Ferrari Becker stays. For sure. Doran Becker, for sure. Get that out. Reverse Ferrari can stay. I thought Sport Blue, no? Oh, yeah, yeah Sport Blue. Hell no. Get that out of here. Okay, Sport Doran Blue. Becker can't. Yeah, Doran Becker out. Is anybody picking that? Nope. Nope. Oh, is there 10 already? Yeah, well, there's 12 on this list, and you have to pick 10. Okay. So you pick whatever 10 you want. So here we go. Let me get this up here. Make sure we can all see it. So you, there's 12 on here. You pick 10. Jake. I'm trying to figure this out. Because two of these won't make your list. Yeah, two of them won't even make your list. Yeah. Damn. So you really have to think about it. So I mean, I'm dismissing Forrest Green and Dornbecker. Those are gone. No, so you don't want you don't want these at all. No. Okay. Um, let's do reverse Ferrari. It'll do what? Reverse Ferrari. 
Okay. At your 10. Yeah. All right. 10. So I know I've got to eliminate two already. Mm hmm. So, okay, I know what I want to get rid of. Okay. I would say Thunder. The Hustle Bee colorway? Yeah, I'll keep it, but I'm not really going to wear it that much. <laughs> I'll keep it on the list, but I'm not going to rock it. All right, I'm going to go with, I'm trying to think what would not make my list at all. Mm, I guess I'll probably say this like University Blue would be like a 10. <laughs> but even then. So you don't want Reverse Ferrari, Glenn? A Reverse Ferrari, I definitely would. It'd be higher on my list, actually. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, wrong, wrong color. All right, Jake. Uh, Thunder. All right. I actually think that Thunder's kind of clean. All right, B. Man, I'm trying to delete some in my head. I know. You know what? There's too many on here. Let's get rid of... So DBs were out then, right? Yeah. I won't even make it, right? Okay. Oh. And then... What's the next one you want to eliminate that all three of us wouldn't pick? Hmm... What do you think, Jake? Well, I'm not going for a screen, but I think you are. Nah. You could it's all right for me. What do you think, Glenn? You can get uh, rid of it. Yeah, we can get rid of it. All right. Now you're down to these ten. Make well, it easy. University blue. All right, that one right here. And yeah, I'm gonna go with the Thunder one for, for mine. Yeah. Keep the Supreme, guys, because it's it's resell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thunder's gone since we already picked it. All right, big university blue. Oh come on, this guy's just going with it. So that's gone, Glenn. That's gone. Yeah. All right, now we're down to these eight. Now, it, now it's a lot easier, man. That was hectic. Um, I would go with uh. I'd say reverse Ferrari. Oh, at eight. Yeah, because yellow on yellow on, I mean, name it Ferrari trash. It's yellow Slambo, red's Ferrari. All right, I'm gonna go with Supreme. I just did not like this one. I actually, should have been. I don't know. I'm I'm throwing it at eight. All right, Jake. Oh, you gotta keep it for resale, Glenn. You know, what I'm <laughs> gotta be eight above for it to be resellable. Candy cane. Damn, Candy Cane at seven. Right. This guy's not showing any respect. All right. B. Man, what else is there? Let's see what the chat says. Supreme Trash. Supreme Out. Yeah, I guess I would put uh, Supreme there. Supreme at eight. I'm going to go with this um, Laney Low. Not feeling it. Disrespectful. <laughs> All right, Jake. Uh, we could do, um, at this point, we go Laney Low. <laughs> only, one, one, only one ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the disrespect. B. I would put candy cane. Dang. I actually like candy canes. You know what? I'm buying them right now. Man, you want candy cane and reverse Ferrari. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to reverse Ferrari. Let's see. <laughs> Jake Glenn likes candy cane Ferrari. He's out. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Ferrari's crucial. gone, Glenn. Reverse, yeah. He's getting crucial right now. All right, Jake. Yeah, this is where you get roasted. <laughs> this is where we get pops. I, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I kind of like the Supreme one. Oh. oh. At five? He likes no, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to okay. think about five. Right he now. likes Bedazzle, Glenn. I'm thinking about what I – well, the Ferrari one, I mean, uh, I feel like the Supreme one, like, is kind of like you wear it to a club or something like that. I just feel like 
it has a it has a place. Yeah, Jake's and, like nineties R and B dude. That's why right. you know, exactly. or like when I'm gonna perform my nineties hits on stage. Yeah, we got some diamond earrings and everything. Right, like. right. But I, I, it's just not the kind of shoe you wear with like some some shorts. Yeah, you, you know gotta I mean? ice it out. When you wear that, you gotta be iced. Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be iced when you wear it. So yeah. I feel like it's it's kind of got its place. So I'm gonna go, man. It's tough. I, I gotta put the last shot right there, man. Damn. I go I go with my heart. All right, it's going with his heart. I don't care about what what, what SCF any money have to say about it. <laughs> he doesn't care what anyone says. All right, B. Um. I put uh, what do I have left? Let me see. Uh, Laney Low. You can also do Ferrari. You I'll, also uh, black though. I'll put Laney Low. I kind of all oh, black though. Black though. I want Laney Low up. Black though for me. Okay. He's like, I want Laney Low up there. Yeah, because I, y'all know I'm not a huge white shoe guy, so. Uh, five for me. I'm gonna go with what else do I have left in here? Black toe Ferrari last shot. Yeah, we can do we can do black toe on this one. Oh, that's so disrespectful. <laughs> All right, next, Jake. Uh, defining moments. Defining moments. There. <laughs> All right. B. Uh, Laney Low. Laney Low. Finally makes the list right here. Laney Low at four for the B, which means we can finally get it off here. And who else has the Supreme left? Jake. Me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. The Supreme, if I had the Supreme, right? Like next time where if we went to Vegas and we got like dressed up and hit the casinos and shit. I and have, if you win, I put the supreme. Buy the supreme, all right. I put the supreme on. Okay. All right, going with Ferrari at four. Right. Okay. Yeah. Jake. Supreme three. Dang, supreme. All right, Jake. Supreme. So now. Hey, can we do top three now? What was that? Can we do top three? Yeah. Now we're doing. Oh, you want Jake just to yeah, finish it out? Top three, yeah. All right. Uh, Ferrari and Black Toe. Ferrari number one, Black Toe two. Oh, Ferrari number one. Yep. And Black Toe. All right. Re I respect Ferrari up there. I'll I'll go with DMP one, and then I would do uh, Ferrari two, Last Shot three. If you're gonna rock for things, you gotta flex it so people will know you got the pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I actually know people that sold the the DMP thirteens with the box for as much as the whole cost of the whole box. So they got the DMP fourteens for free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going candy cane at three. I think it's classic. I'm going with uh, what else do I have left? The end the oh, last shot. Yeah, I'm doing this in here, and then have to go with last shot at number one. Yeah, Glenn's top three is Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> it's classic. Okay, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the chat gets to see uh, what whose list do they like the most? Uh, which ones do they? How would they rank the lists? Put them in order. Jake, we're gonna go with Ferrari at number one. Why number one? Uh, the Ferrari is just a nice shoe. All right, classic. Do you have this in your collection? No. Uh -uh. Okay. Black toe at two. Supreme. I'm kind of surprised, but Supreme at three. Defining moments at four. Last shot all the way down to five. Laney low, which hopefully one day you'll we'll see you rocking these. Yeah. Candy yeah. at seven. University Blue, Thunder, and Reverse Ferrari at 10. B, Defining Moments. He wants to flex with the gold. Ferrari at 2. Last Shot at 3. Laney Low, which pretty up there at 4. 
I mean, hey. I, I need my outfit today, you know? That's hey. right. Let's just let's just point out Doug the Pug and uh, sold out. What did it say? Oh, oh, Jake Doug, always Doug, number one, Doug and, the Pug. And, so, and sold out. They are all bad, but yeah, Jake somebody isn't too getting bad. paid. <laughs> But Jake, they're all bad, but Jake's isn't too bad. <laughs> Sold out. Uh, Bees list the best. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. It's variety. <laughs> it's a little I, mix. I mean, Glenn Stop 5 looks like he's going to get signed by the Chicago Bulls tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Glenn, 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 Glenn DM uh, Michael Jordan and asked him what his top three were. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, Glenn's real list is actually eight, nine, ten, but Michael Jordan's is like one to six. <laughs> All right, so the the most legit theory would be Glenn DM Gary V to ask Jordan what he's talking. About. <laughs> I don't think Jordan would reply to Glenn, but <laughs> no, Gary Gary V hates Jordan. <laughs> Did you know that, Jake? No, I didn't know that. He hates it because because of the how he destroyed Knicks. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah, that's even too far of a step. I asked Reezy to ask Gary V. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you have top six up there. Your top six is reverse Ferrari. Well, yeah, very true. <laughs> <Flip him. laughs> oh, man. All right. Yeah, MJ responding to Ross VP? Come on now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Glenn's asking for more uh, pairs. <laughs> so Ross. All right. So anything from uh last dance that's gonna surprise you tonight? No. We already know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I, I, I just wanna see how I just wanna see what uh Jordan is thinking or what he's gonna say about when when uh Bill Russell was uh, on him. Uh Brian, Brian Russell? Oh uh, Brian, Brian Bill. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh because you know how what, what kind of commentary he had when what game was that when he said i gotta have it they made a wrong decision they put him on me it was ron harper's teammate um oh craig elo yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah i like that was like you know was like they made they i mean because he was giving props to ron that you know he was like struggling when ron was guarding him and when they put elo on him it's like it it was it was done as soon as the matchup was made, it was done. I don't know if I saw it on YouTube or if it was on the last dance. I don't remember, but uh, supposedly Brian Brian Russell came up to Jordan when he was retired. Was that in the last dance or was that on YouTube? Put on YouTube. Okay, so supposedly he came up to Jordan while he was retired and he was like, yeah, too bad I didn't get to D you up because I would have shut you down. <laughs> so then every time Jordan played, played him, he always went at his ass. So do you think that we're going to clarify the push-off? There's no push off. There was no push off. You watch <laughs> that. This. Yeah, I'm like. He just got shook. Yeah. Okay, James Harden. <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, he even just he even just stapped him like, get that yeah, out of think, here. Think about like his as soon as he, like, think about his motion. How much strength did he have? Yeah. Like, get out of here. I mean, as soon as Jordan did a crossover, he was like, game over. Let me make it. Yeah. You know? That was a push off. <laughs> No way. Life of the Zeus says Russell is on skates. Yeah. He slipped. Yeah. I mean, Russell slipped. You know? <laughs> if, if Jordan went that way and didn't cross over, Jordan would have got, gotten fouled because Russell was in the way. So it was, you know, W. So before we go, what about the last episodes from last week? Uh, Pippin giving up or uh, that last play? What are your thoughts on that one? Bro, I was with... Uh, who was the dude? Cartwright. I was Cartwright. I was with, with him all the way. And and I was glad that that's how it, it happened, right? Because, I mean, Horace Grant said it was Twilight Zone, right? He said it like like that never happened. And then you got Steve Kerr pretty much like lost for words, right? And then you got Cool Coach there. Hitting the shot. Hitting the shot. It was a hard shot. Yeah. Yeah, first, first, first thing goes to coach, right? Like, uh, that was a, un the unbelievable pressure of Pippin protesting, right? And you hitting that hard ass shot to prove this is why you got the call, 
right. that, that was crazy in itself. Right, just because it would have been really bad if Tony missed it. Yeah, so it much would, pressure. It would have right. it would have backfired on Tony. I mean, they, you know, like that argument was there, right? Because Tony was already hated, right? Or like kind of like undermine on how good of a player he was because this was the time when you know Europe players wasn't really good in the NBA, and and to be able to do that, uh, it I think what was sad was it ha- it was a perfect setup, right? It was a perfect setup. If Jordan was there, Joel took that, everybody would celebrate it. But it was still probably would have been a Jordan kind of play. But just because somebody else was taking the shot, you would react like that. That that right there wasn't a team. Yeah. But but like you got to kind of look at it though from Pippen's perspective because. You, Pippen, actually, that season, you know, a lot of people, like, I've been getting into base with people about how good Pippen really was and all this kind of stuff. Pippen was a dope player. And that that year, he I think he was, like, third in MVP voting or whatever. I think he was averaging, like, 25 points, eight rebounds. Like right, right, right. Like, he had a dope, like, a great season. And this was his first time. They were in the damn Eastern Conference Finals, man. He got yeah. him there. This is right. his first time that Pippen was the man. Right. Now, and he's seen Michael operate. And he knows that Mike would never get disrespected with right. anybody else getting the shot but Mike. So I think what happened is, is it's the first time the game is on the line and they need their number one player to hit a hit a basket and they and they say Ku coach. I'm I'm just saying it probably just pissed him off. He's like, I got you guys here and you're gonna give it to freaking Ku coach. I, I think in a way it was more of like he came from a respect standpoint, right? But with yeah. a skill standpoint, I don't think Pippen was that kind of player. He was always a catch, you know, he was always a set shot kind of person. He was never be a catch and fade away kind of guy. Or he was never be like that one step dribble pull up kind of guy. Mm-hmm. But Tony was. Because, you know, like Pippen would have been always on the wing, set shot, right? Like not much defender or slashing through the basket. Yes. But, but the, it was definitely designed at that spot to catch and shoot like a fadeaway shot, what Michael would have gotten. Right. But I, but the fact is that they wanted Pippen even to inbound the ball. Like, yeah. Pippen wasn't even, oh, like, like Pippen, an option. Well, Pippen, like, he was thinking of play. Pippen was tall. There would have been no way anybody would have, you know, kind of, like, deflected it. And Pippen is a great passer. I think he is a better passer than a shooter. Yeah, it says, uh, let's see what the chat says. I don't understand Pippen saying he regretted it, but he wouldn't change a thing if he did it over, <laughs> had to do it again. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of a weird statement. Like, yeah, it was condescending. But, <laughs> but, but, but the comment for Jordan, he, he, he said it. It's like, Pip knew better, right? Pip knew better, and he wasn't going it, to. It, it, I think it really kind of like ruined kind of his, his uh, you know, like the, I don't know, I guess. I guess because overall it helped them gel together, right? As soon as uh, Cartwright said that thing, you know, yeah. they they bonded together right after that. So I guess it had to take a kind of like they had to go through kind of like a, uh, I guess argument there. But but who would go against your coach? The, but the fact that Pippen even dug in on it and said I don't regret it is showing how strongly he felt about that. Yeah, but that but he no, he regret it. But he said he wouldn't change anything. He wouldn't change it because he felt like this is my team now. He was a damn shot. He was regret. He had the regret. Hey, you know what's funny, though, is when Jordan – I think I texted you guys about it. When Jordan was watching them lose, I was like, you know Mike did not want them to win without him. (laughs) You know there's no way in hell he wanted them to win without him. Then he'd be like, oh, shit, well, the Bulls were pipping all along. It was never Mike. You know what I mean? (laughs) That's what would have happened. And so, you know, he was like – He's like those uh, – who are the players that always would pop the, the, the corks whenever a team would lose? The Dolphins players? Yeah. They would always pop the corks when no one would get that perfect season? Yeah. Like he, he popped bottles that night. He went to the clubs in Birmingham. He was, he was having a great time. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed that we didn't see more Space Jam. They just kind of talked about it briefly, but – Yeah, because it would have promoted LeBron. They skipped that out. <laughs> Like, we're not talking about that. Well, I think, uh, I think uh, the good thing about I mean, I, um, what they really didn't talk about, uh, Tim Grover talked about it and Phil in their, both of their books, that the one, one of the reasons why Jordan did that and had like a pretty much like an open 
court invite for these good players was really Jordan wanted to measure himself up to them and really spy on their moves. Yeah. That's what, and he he was going he was really paying attention on how he was going to guard them or stop them uh on during that season. So a lot of it was yeah, reconditioning, but if you think about it, Jordan could have reconditioned with anybody else, not with the top players. But yeah. they would really get suckered in and and you know, you guys know what happened after that. Another another <laughs> three peat. <laughs> What about first, Jordan? first confidence too, right? Because sure. that way he gets to build his confidence knowing he can play with these guys still. No problem. What about the story of Jordan's dad? Did you already know what happened to Jordan's dad before? Or Yeah, I knew about it. Yeah, I just didn't think like how it seems like it could be a – it wasn't really a sealed case, right? But um, but back in the day, you know, like I, I didn't know that, that – it was that deep that the guys admitted that they robbed it, but he was already dead. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, right, they, that's what happened, right. They robbed him when he was dead and then they threw his body. They, well, they, they, their stories are all different. One guy said that they thought they were just going to rob him and the other guy shot him. Right. And the other, and the other like, guy said that he was already dead. Right. I don't remember anybody. I don't I don't know about that much, but I, I don't think there was any, any like inclination that it wasn't them, but the fact yeah. that it was like an 18 or 19 year old kid, right. I would disassociate that with gambling immediately. If yeah. It was like some grown ass men doing a hit, it seemed different, but it was right, it would have been a cleaner hit, you know. I mean, that's what they said, it was like more of like a, a joyride kind of thing, right? But but that was just so odd. Like, mm-hmm. why would you just pull over and sleep on the side of the road? I mean, you're you're Jordan's, you know, like I guess what, what I, I'm looking at it is like since Jordan has gotten them so far from, you know, from where they were at, he still had the mentality of just drive. He could have flown easily or have a, hire a chauffeur or something like that. It, it was a, I mean, it was like a Lexus SC 400. Yeah. They were, I mean, it was a nice car at the yeah. time, but it, he was, he liked to drive around supposedly, but right. I think I just times back then were different because if you pull up on somebody at a rest stop, I mean, there's no cell phones. Yet, you know, it's not a, you're just just you and them, mm-hmm. you know. So I think people were would be more hesitant now. Somebody could dial nine one one. Someone would call the police. You yeah, know, the cameras everywhere. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah that's true. That they said he did that all the time that time. But but you, well, I think he just wanted to probably you know make it feel nostalgic that you know bring him kind of like peace or you know memory memory lane kind of thing. What about baseball? You think he could have been? I mean, he was already. It's kind of cool showing him like doing well in the beginning, but then he kind of struggled after that. Once they started getting into different pitches and stuff, like, yeah. so do you think he could have been like a? Well, he'll already have been a superstar just because of his name, but I I think he could have improved and became better just because of athlete standpoint, and he didn't lack. I mean, he wasn't gonna lack any training and coaching beyond that point he was just going to be more and more and more and the fact that his trainer was actually working with him to develop his body to become more of a baseball body uh uh which tim said you know it was it was going to be a hard transition just on how he was built but i think he would he would have just gotten better just just now if you look at it the time right he didn't play baseball until then until what? He was what? Fifteen? It said it was like yeah, he, last time was like you know, yeah. high school or something. Yeah, something like that. So, so I, I think it's it's. I mean, it's a sport. It's a learned skill, right? So I think with his capability, he would have been easily better. I mean, I, I would say like obviously Jordan has a crazy work ethic, right? Right. And they said that he hadn't played baseball in twenty years or whatever, and right. suddenly he he could play with lower level major right. league players. But at the same time, you'd like to think like, well, Jordan is so dedicated. He could be really good. But Jordan was dedicated to golf, and he never got real good at golf either. <laughs> so it, like, it, it didn't translate to golf, right? Well, no. Like no. his work ethic. He didn't, he didn't have training with golf. I, I, don't, I don't know. I would think that he would. He had some kind well, of – Well, because his only trainer was Tim Grover. Golf was actually to take his mind off of the game of training. So it, but, was, it, it was that one time that, that – he played with people that he wasn't dominating anything. Right, but he was ultra competitive, so he yeah. wanted to win. So I'm saying is, if he put the effort into golf, 
I'm just saying he didn't ascend to being great at golf. I think he would have if he trained for it. Yeah, who knows? I think, and then we got to see them kind of like in the playoffs. We got to see what's happening. BJ Armstrong with the Hornets and, <laughs> and then taking L's there. So, uh, hey, re hey, real quick, uh, text Pete saying Jordan, Bo, Dion, 90s were so badass, right? I mean, obviously, we know Jordan's the best uh, basketball player. Supposedly, Bo was the best football player. I mean, I'm, I don't know, but I hear Bo is like crazy. Um, I think Mike Tyson might have been the best boxer. Like, right. it, it, did the '90s produce the best of every <laughs> of every sport? I mean, if we think about it. Well, I, I think the '90s was in the middle of kind of like the old, like the '80s was like they really didn't have like the equipment or training, right? Like the, the technology yet. '90s they have it, mm -hmm. and, but it wasn't too easy yet right to like just hire somebody to feed you 24 7 right they still i mean now like you could really dial in like what lebron's doing with his body that's why he's sustained himself that long and now there's like was that game management right <laughs> where they would sit right <laughs> that didn't happen till 2000s so i i think it's like a middle like they felt the the grind of the 80s and they felt like the the a lot of improvement. So was it the fact that they were they still were hardened like yeah. the players from the yeah, 80s, sure. but they had the more modern Bro, things that made them hundred percent like I, I don't think any nineties player was any good nineties player was playing video games. Now there's so many good players playing video games. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying is the fact that we say like newer people in these sports are softer, right? Hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. So you got the '80s grit combined with the '90s uh, medicine, exactly, exactly. Producing the best players. I'm, I'm telling you, Jordan probably haven't touched any PlayStation or any video games. Right. It's soft. I mean, Kobe is kind of like the old soul of before now. I don't think Kobe has said anything about playing video game. All <laughs> the clown out there playing video games, it makes me mad. <laughs> and they want to get paid more. I do agree with Jake, though. I think the 90s was the best for everything. I mean, you have to look at it from the whole total hey, perspective. Hey, well, all of you guys in the chat that disagree, come back 10 years from now, and then we'll see what this era of players has become. But I, because I'm just trying to find the explanation, right? Like, Ken, what you said, the 80s great combined with 90s, 90s medicine is probably could be an answer, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I also wonder why 90s music is still playable today, right? You like like I listen to stations now when they intertwine '90s music with current music, whereas in the '90s they weren't playing '70s music on current stations. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was just I was just talking to somebody about that, and I was like, why is the '90s music just seamlessly blend in with today's? And and he he brought up a good point. He's like, that's when they started using computers to make music, mm -hmm. and and that so that it's like the same kind of music yeah, like, now, just different. Whereas you listen to '80s music, that synthesizers, '70s is live instruments. Right. It's like it's like a whole. That's why '90s can blend in seamlessly to current like music. crossover era, yeah. right? Like right. I think I think if I if I if I look at it in a in a in a car industry standpoint of view, our era right now, or the next like few years, will be at its strongest because it is the merge of the the fuel powered in the electric powered because now you have cars that are running fuel and electric that are doing crazy things and just not running all all electric so i think the hybrid of the crossover is going to be at its strongest within the next few years you're so right Jake, you, have to, you have to look at the 90s best grossing movies lion king titanic, oh. <laughs> titanic. Of best course. sitcom ever seinfeld wrestling yeah. was even happening we got attitude era Right. WWF, WCW. There was that was awesome. I think there was a lot because what nineties really pushed everybody to go out and not hunker down on video games. We had we had Nintendo sixty four at the time. Yeah, but still, I think the Lovely parents were so freak, though. They were still kicking out their kids outside. <laughs> now, yeah, like, yeah. right? Yeah, nineties is probably the last era when kids probably rode bikes. And yeah. Played outside. That fell down. That fell out. Like 
Dude, I can't. I kid you not. There are kids right now that don't know how to ride bikes. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? You know what's kind of funny though is like going to the post office and how many people have to get back into line because they don't know how to like work that write, write the address to see where they're gonna mail it to. Like they don't know like well, I right, think so the top corners you put what address? Yeah, and then they don't have know how to work the kiosk. Well, that's the generation older than us that that oh, yeah, yeah. despise technology because yeah. it's the people that are using post office are uh, the business which is in our era, right? And the older generation that still think mailing is the mode of communication. Yeah, I know it's sweet, but but the kids nowadays can still write a sweet letter and email it to their parents or text it. That's why we don't see them there. True. But I'm sure if they walk in there, they'll figure out the kiosk like that. You got old older people like lining up to buy stamps in the thing. Well, <laughs> stamps there. <laughs> Oh man! All right. So the chat talking about uh the nineties being great technology, uh music too accessible nowadays. The thing I hated about the nineties though, imagine how much CDs cost at the time, and not only that, like how wasteful things were though. People writing checks oh. and checkbooks and like oh you you so were, wasteful. You weren't technology. You weren't into technology. You got LimeWire. That was two thousands. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> was it late late 2000s i think napster might be late oh, 90s no oh before i was it was for me i was in the philippines it was pirated cds man do you burn your own thing <laughs> <laughs> that off hey for credit cards like i remember they they had some kind of like things where they swipe your credit card yeah. with some kind of paper yeah, like kind of like, like carbon paper yeah yeah it wasn't even like all it wasn't even um there's nothing digital about it. They no. just took that, that copy of your credit card number. Yeah, and then bill you later. Yeah. <laughs> and you could have, your, your credit card could have been maxed out, but you're still buying stuff. Oh, oh that would have been the greatest scam. What? That would have been the greatest time to source. Bro, imagine. Imagine mm-hmm. you would just go to Nike and just max it, like, right? Like in one day or yeah. how many days? Next thing yeah. you know, the next day they cut you off. Uh-huh. I'm like, Crap, I got $60,000 worth of inventory. Yeah, now. but Ken, where are you going to sell it? eBay. They were like damn eBay when they were doing that with credit cards. No? No, eBay was like, I think eBay 96 or 97 or something. Like Crap, I'll hold it till 96. Okay. <laughs> hey, go back. Yeah, go back to 85 and buy a whole bunch of brand new pairs of Jordans and just go sit on them. Right, exactly, right. And then I would store it in the storage and then release them. Uh, I won't release them today, maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> all right so last dance you can watch the uh, final episodes coming up pretty yeah. soon in less than 30 minutes so go watch that thanks for hanging out uh for the 90 people that are still hanging out even though talking about random stuff and we're gonna do a live show tomorrow me and the b we're gonna talk about burlington fines and go through that people that tagged us on stuff and uh, the business aspect on that how much money you can make on these since it's half off everything and uh, anything else you want to say before we go Pretty much it. I guess I'll I'll show my haul. Okay, we should show our haul tomorrow. Oh, there you go. All right, B's got some ideas. And I say, long live the nineties. <laughs> Jake living in the nineties. Hundred percent. All right, see you guys. Go ahead and get it.